When we first saw the technology for stream genomics, we saw that the price structure and cost structure was going to be what enabled them to enter and win the markets that we have today. Orders of magnitude cheaper on OpEx and CapEx. But when we talked to customers, we realized that speed was going to be the thing that enabled and opened new markets that others have not been able to service today. Sequencing is the new microscopy. It's the final piece of data that validates the entire experiment. It can take weeks or even months to get your data back. You can get other things done while you wait, but you're not moving forward with your science. It takes us just under a month to get our samples back right now, but commonly it's usually just around a month or over a month to get our, our samples back. Some of you can afford to wait that long, but others simply can't. The longest we had to wait was close to eight months and actually killed the project that we were working on. But sequencing is not the only part of the workflow. Sample prep can take an entire day or more. It's a very long and you know, laborious process where uh, it takes about a large proportion of my time. The way we approach sequencing enables us to reduce the data burden by thousandfold and move away from the cyclical nature of sequencing, thereby increasing the speed and reducing the consumable cost. We'll be about 10x cheaper on both operational and capital costs. Not only that, but we'll also be 100 times faster than current sequencing technologies, and that will open up new applications and new markets for NGS. We've assembled an incredible team. I joined Illumina in 2007, initially working on formulating the sequencing reagent into the current kit structure. Commercialization and ideation of all the major sequences of consumables and library prep products. And polymerase evolution, um, for all the subsequent platforms. I was principal engineer at Ultimate Genomics. Chief commercial officer, and I finished up there as CEO. The first biologist on the HiSeq, working alongside with engineers, and really that helped me to understand how instruments, sequencing instruments are built. I was vice president of global strategic marketing and regional marketing, where I had a team of hundreds around the world. I then moved on to Pacific Bioscience, where I worked on the long and short read sequencing. And my training is in single molecule physics. We've demonstrated that the physics works. We know exactly how many photons we're dealing with. And the work ahead is to integrate the chemistry into the rest of the system. Once we've worked out the biochemistry, we can integrate it into a fully functional sequencing instrument and then start sequencing in real time. And that includes detection of DNA methylation on native DNA strands. Traditionally, next-generation sequencing has been the domain of large labs with deep pockets. We aim to change that and truly democratize next-generation sequencing. The last couple of decades have shown that as prices come down, revenue and volume goes up. So we plan to continue that trajectory for next-generation sequencing. 